My name is Jerry George. I'm a member of the Amateur Radio Club of Augusta, and we're here today with Field Day. It's an annual event from the uh, American Radio Relay League in which we all get together and using other than commercial power and other than everyday standard antennas, we work to make contact, radio contact, through code or Morse code and other types of media all across the country. It's not exactly a contest, but it is. There's a lot of people put a lot of effort into mm -hmm. making it a big success. In some ways, it dem demonstrates our emergency capabilities because we are working off the grid when we uh, operate our radios. I like this club and I want to help out and get more experience working on ra with radios that I don't use every day. I use uh, what's called two meter. It's a FM, relatively short range, uh, two-way radio. The radios we use here today have a much more substantial range. I imagine later on tonight we'll be talking to people in the uh, Caribbean, perhaps Europe, uh, western coast of the U.S., so that's something I don't get to work with very often. Mm -hmm. So I come here, try to polish some skills, and uh, be a part of the club. I, I'm affiliated with the uh, Central South Carolina chapter that covers uh, Midlands of the so South Carolina uh, and Aiken County area as far north as Edgefield, down through Bardwell and Allendale. What I do is called government operations. I am a coordinator with the emergency managers and other local government officials, such as fire departments, schools, other agencies that can work together in times of emergencies. Meet with the local emergency managers and the people in the communities, in the neighborhoods, at the state level, to help them determine what their needs are. And I'm strictly volunteer, it's not a paid position. There's a lot of work when you go out of town. It's a break away from home sometimes, but it's, a, it's not a vacation. How many out-of-state deployments have you been on? Probably 10 or 12, I can't remember. Over the course of the past nine years, it's been several hurricanes all along the um, Gulf of Mexico, been to California for snow melt and wildfire. It's pretty much ranged from New York to the Gulf Coast and off to California with a few stops in the Midwest too. Ham radio provides an easy means to have contact with all of our disaster shelters. We can put people in the various emergency operation centers at the county, state, federal level so that we can talk to our Red Cross headquarters. Telephone lines don't always work. Mm. Cell phones are real sketchy in big disasters. In West Virginia, it's been a few years ago, cell phones were not useful at all because there's mountains. I've been through the same experience in upstate New York. Once I get more than 10 miles away from my Red Cross office, I can't talk to anybody. Uh, radios could be very helpful there. Mm. It's not going to answer the question all the time. When the shelter manager is working to support 200 or 300 people, there's a time she needs to be able to talk to the Red Cross office, and ham radio can do it.